Aloha, I'm Aaron Campbell. And I'm Osai Gilman. Welcome to this special edition of GPA Play It Smart, where we help student athletes prepare to go to college, get a degree, and become great leaders in our community. Today, we'll go to the Hawaiian Language Immersion School, Kekula o Ehunui Kaimalino, to talk to Tim Lino, who has been the principal there since 2002. Dr. Lino has a deep passion for learning and growing. He graduated from Kamehameha School's Kapalama campus, and then he got his degree in education from the one, the only, BYU Provo. He later got his Master's of Education from UH Manoa and recently received the Doctorate of Education in Urban School Leadership from nonetheless USC. Yeah, he meant to say none other than USC, but nonetheless can. <laughs> Whatever English class he went, I don't know, but anyway. <laughs> he also has been coaching football for many years. He has coached at several high schools, including Castle, Waikia, Provo High School in Utah, and Cibola High School in Arizona, as well as colleges including Arizona Western College, Jose University, which is located in Japan, and the awesome Brigham Young University Provo Campus. He received five Coach of the Year awards for his relentless passion for his athlete's excellence. Tim Lino, you are the man. Let's go to Kona and learn more from Dr. Lino. Kekula o Ehunui Kaimalino is a public kindergarten through 12th grade Hawaiian language immersion school. Established in 1995, Ehunui is the only Hawaiian immersion school on the west side of the Hawaii Island. Having a multi-ethnic student population, the school's mission is to perpetuate the language, customs, traditions, skills, philosophies, spirituality, and character of the Hawaiian people, Kanaka Maoli. Their goal is also to achieve academic dual language proficiency through a rigorous standards-based curriculum. Now, let's have a visit with Dr. Tim Lino and hear his advice to all high school students. We're living in a day and age where I say, you know, it's not so much that we, we're, we're teaching teenagers, but we're teaching screenagers. Everything with our students is a screen, a phone, a computer, text message, Facebook, social networking of all kinds, multimedia, and we're dealing with a different time. And now, more so than ever, it is so important to understand that, you know, in my generation, it was important to go to college. But now, with this younger generation, it is critically important that they go to college. Students who go on and earn a college degree over the course of their lifetime, uh, they will earn a million dollars more than students who only have a high school diploma. My advice to all of you who aspire to be student athletes at the college level or aspire to go on to college is right now, hopefully in your middle school year or if you're in the ninth grade, go to your senior year, go to your counselor and backward map from your senior year on down. At the minimum, you need to graduate from high school at the minimum with Algebra 2. Most universities now will not even strongly consider you unless you have successfully completed Algebra 2. And if you are enrolled in a public school, it is not the school that will make you successful. It's your desire to be the best that you can be. The time is now to prepare for that. The time is to discipline yourself to work hard. Make the most of your day. Rise early, go to sleep early, as early as you can, get good rest, eat good, live a healthy lifestyle, but make sure that your education and your learning is at the forefront of everything you do. There's a quote that I used to tell my players every day. I used to tell them, every day you get better or worse, but you never stay the same. So at the end of the day, when you look in the mirror and you, and you ask yourself, did I get better today? because you're not staying the same. You either got better today or you got worse. So it's a matter of prioritization, um, making things happen, um, being willing to sacrifice 
comfortable things and put yourself in a state of discomfort so that you can um, achieve, you can be resilient and overcome adversity. And that's my counsel to all of the youth. Learning is so exciting and it'll make life so much more satisfying. You know what, Asai? Mm. I noticed about this guy, Dr. Tim Lino. Mm -hmm. He got a strong personality. Oh, his presence, huh? He's very well-spoken, very educated. He's passionate. He loves his job. And to top all that, the Hawaiian. That's fantastic, bro. Look at this, brother. You guys follow this, brother. He good. You know, follow this, brother. Good example of the Hawaiian community. What a show. One more time, we have seen the full circle of what you can become with successful high school and college experience. Here at GPA Play It Smart, we want you to succeed. We want you to believe that you can do great things in life. We hope you have learned from the Nearman brothers, Iz and Joshua, and from Isaiah Chinen, that in order to succeed on the field, you must succeed in the classroom. And from Tim Lino, we hope you learn to have the desire for continuous improvement and lifelong learning. If you do these things, it will bring you great satisfaction in life. That's it for today. Thanks again, everyone, for watching. And we'll see you on our next episode of GPA Play It Smart. By the way, parents, can you please be a parent first? Then be a friend. Shout out to Chris Lee and his children. Sorry. Yeah. He has one son, doesn't he? One son, but Chris Lee is the man. Aloha, Chris. Game Plan Rugby Academy in New Zealand. How come I not going? No more money for you, brother. See this guy. Okay. See Take you care. later. Aloha.